Elon Musk has been promising self-driving cars for over 10 years now. In 2014, he said, Next year will probably be 90% capable of autopilot. Like, so 90% of your miles could be on auto. In 2016, he claimed, Like a Model S and Model X at this point, uh, can drive autonomously. In 2019, Musk said, uh, We'll have over a million Tesla cars on the road with full self-driving hardware, feature complete, uh, at a reliability level that we would consider uh, that no one needs to pay attention. We will have over a million robo-taxis on the road. The fleet wakes up with an over-the-air update. And in 2021, Elon stated, When do you think Tesla will solve level four FSD? I mean, it's looking quite likely that it will be next year. Even though this tech mogul, the second richest man in the world, has been promising fully autonomous self-driving cars for a decade now, Tesla still has not delivered on that promise. So if this auto giant can't deliver a 10-year-old commitment, how are they going to deliver robo-taxis in the near future? Well, the actual truth behind it will likely surprise you. By the end of this video, you'll see why Tesla's goal of a fully self-driving level four car might be closer than you think. And why robo-taxis might just happen this time, despite Musk's long track record of over-promising and under-delivering. Before we dive in, let's find out how autonomous driving is classified. The Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE, has defined six levels of driving automation, ranging from level zero to level five. Here are the categories. Level zero, no automation. The human driver is responsible for all driving tasks and the vehicle vehicle has no autonomous features. Level one, driver assistance. The vehicle is equipped with some driver assistance features, such as adaptive cruise control or lane keeping assist, but the main human driver is still in control of the vehicle. Level two, partial automation. The vehicle can control both steering and acceleration and deceleration, under specific conditions, but the human driver must remain alert and ready to take control at any time. Level three, conditional automation. The vehicle can handle most driving tasks under certain conditions, but the human driver must be ready to intervene when requested by the system. Level four, high automation. The vehicle can handle all driving tasks under specific conditions without requiring human intervention, but the human driver may have the option to take control. Level five, full Full automation, the holy grail of self-driving. The vehicle can handle all driving tasks under all conditions without requiring any human intervention at all. The vehicle may not even have a steering wheel or gas pedals. These levels are pretty straightforward, but auto companies like Tesla make it confusing to the end consumer. Tesla calls their self-driving system FSD or full self-driving, and this name misleads a lot of Tesla buyers. Many of them think Tesla's full self-driving system is a level five fully autonomous one one where they don't need to pay attention on the road. They think they could literally watch a movie while letting the car do all the work. But the reality is that Tesla's full self-driving system isn't a level five autonomous car at all. Heck, it's not even a level four or a level three self-driving vehicle. It's actually a level two car, a car where the driver has to remain alert at all times and be prepared to take over the vehicle at any time if something goes awry. It's a far cry from what Musk said in 2019, which was Tesla's full self-driving or FSD feature would be so reliable the driver could go to sleep. That never came to be, and that statement was made over five years ago. Even with all those false promises and confusing labels, level four self-driving cars and level five robo-taxis are just around the corner. Recently, Tesla did an over-the-air software update for their full self-driving system, version 12.3.3. This version, which is available to all Tesla owners with a 2019 or newer vehicle, is getting rave reviews. This Tesla owner says it's like Skynet has taken to the wheel. Another Tesla owner said, the first thing I did was spend three hours driving all over parts of LA and I didn't have any interventions, meaning he never had to take control of the wheel. It was rock solid. There's a reason why these customers are raving. It's due to a radical change in Tesla's self-driving software. Instead of the software relying solely on cameras and sensors to drive its cars, Tesla did a 180 shift. They scrapped their old software and created a new version that uses a mix of AI neural networks 
and cameras. A shift from a rules-based approach to one that mimics how humans drive. The only difference is that it can learn from millions and millions of human driving experiences with the power of AI. Essentially, it learns to be the best human driver on the planet. This is a huge leap in autonomous driving technology for Tesla. This pivot to a human behavior approach washes away all of Musk's past sins. Yeah, he's overpromised a lot over the last 10 years, but he now has the right technology in place. The right technology to do exactly what he's been promising for so long. He's just a little late to the party. At this point, Tesla's FSD software is closer to making their cars and trucks level three autonomous vehicles. And if Tesla can get regulators to give them the level three green light, level four should follow soon after. Then the holy grail and the highest autonomous car category level five will become realistic and doable for this auto giant. A level five car would mean there would be no need for a steering wheel or gas pedals in it at all. The car's interior might look and feel more like a small living room or office than a traditional interior. A level five car would also mean that Tesla could implement its robo taxi plan, which Elon Musk tweeted about. It's supposed to be announced on August 8th this year. So what are these robo taxis? Robo taxis are basically exactly what they sound like, taxis. Think of them as driverless Ubers. They'll most likely come in two forms. The first form will be a car that Tesla will make from the ground up, specifically designed to function as a robo-taxi. The second will come from the current fleet of Tesla's 2019 and newer. Those cars will be able to update themselves to become a robo-taxi, but they'll still be able to drive just like a traditional Tesla. These robotic taxis will be able to pick people up and drop people off at desired locations, just like Uber does right now. Except all of this will be done autonomously without a driver. On top of that, anyone will be able to buy one of these robo taxis and use them as their personal taxi service. Imagine purchasing one of these cars and never driving it, but instead using it as an Uber-like service to make you money. You'd send out the robo taxi in the morning, it would work all day, and would drive itself home to charge up for the next day's work. If this actually happens, that means according to Musk, owners of these robo taxis could make upwards of $30,000 a year using their cars for Uber-like services. And even if you can't afford to buy a robo taxi and put it to work, you could ditch your car altogether and use Tesla's taxi service instead. Supposedly using the robo taxi as your full-time driver will cost you as little as $100 per month. Way cheaper than using Uber and much more affordable than owning a car. Those car payments right now are through the roof. And don't forget about the cost of gas. So even with Elon Musk's grandiose self-driving claims over the years, the robo taxi is a lot closer than we think. The newest FSD software is a big deal and should finally make Tesla's vehicles level four or level five in the not too distant future. So hopefully you can delete your Uber app, download a Tesla robo taxi one, request a ride, and finally not have to worry about making small talk with the driver. You'll be the only one in the car. That's it for tonight. If you want to learn more about interesting AI stories, check out my other vid, how AI is being used to talk to the dead. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.